Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, can you block certain users from seeing your ads in Google Ads? This recently came up with a client. I'm going to read you the email that he just sent me a few days ago. It says, is there a way to block a person from seeing my ad after the first time they click on it? Or does Google somehow do that? I got three recurring calls this morning from the same person looking for a certain company. So the initial answer is yes, you can block single searchers from seeing your ad in Google Ads. You can also block people on certain connections like inside a large office from seeing ads too, which would be useful if you wanna block you know, hundreds of people in your own office or even in a small office from searching for your own company and then clicking on an ad inadvertently, not realizing that they're costing uh, you or the company money. So whether or not you wanna do this or it's worth it, I'll kind of get into in this video, but let me first show you how you would do this. You have to block people by IP address. So this could be the IP address of a single user, you know, at a home address or home connection, or it could be a connection at an office. So you're blocking, you know, anybody inside that office. So the way you do this is by going into your Google Ads account, you have to click on a single campaign. So you can't block these IP addresses at the account level. It's gotta be by campaign. So that's one downside to blocking this way. But if I click on a single campaign and then click on settings, it takes me into this page. And then you'll have to click on additional settings and then click on IP exclusions. So my account is automatically blocking many IP addresses. And I'll show you how I do that at the end of this video. But this is where you'd put in a single IP address. So it obviously begs the question, how do I know the person's IP address. So a lot of times you're not going to know that. I'll show you two ways that you could use or two methods you could use to uh, determine a person's IP address if they're continually contacting you. But I did want to mention first that Google does block some in invalid clicks. And a few examples of that are manual clicks intended to increase your advertising costs, like a competitor maybe clicking repeatedly, clicks by automated clicking tools like bots and other software extraneous clicks that provide no value to the advertiser, such as a second click of a double click. So there are some invalid clicks that get blocked um, automatically by Google, and I think you'll see that in the billing section of your Google Ads account. And then there's another help document that shows the process of excluding IP addresses, which I just showed you. And they bring up the example of people working at your company regularly check your website's organic search results, where your ads sometimes show. So you might wanna block. That's one example of, of where it might make sense to manually block an IP address. Another issue with these IP addresses is that they change. So someone's home uh, IP address could change dynamically on some regular schedule. So if you block it once, they might start seeing your ad, you know, a week later or even the next day. This could also be true of, you know, an office connection or really any internet connection. So while this probably isn't an efficient way to block people and you may be wasting your time, if you really feel like there's someone who's repeatedly clicking on your ads and it's not getting blocked automatically, you can check for their IP address. If you have a WordPress site, there's a couple ways you might be able to do that. So if they submit a form on your site repeatedly, depending on the type of forms you're using on your website, you might get a notification that includes an IP address. I'm showing you gravity forms here, which I do use on my website. So if I was to look at the entries on here, I could actually add a column that says user IP address. So if someone's repeatedly submitting a form on your website, you can probably find their IP address that way. So check the email notification that's sent to you for that information or if you're using Gravity Forms or some other app or plugin like this, you might be able to find that data inside the entry data for those submissions. Obviously this wouldn't work if people aren't submitting a form, if they're just calling you, you're probably not gonna know what their IP address is unless you're maybe using an app like CallRail, for example, that's tracking calls. One other method on your website would be to monitor live traffic. If you think someone's on your website and they're repeatedly calling you or clicking ads, you can install a plugin that's free called WordFence Security. Once that's installed, you can go to WordFence and then Tools, and there's a live traffic view that shows live traffic on your website, and it shows IP addresses. So you can kind of see the live traffic coming in on my website right now, including here's someone who probably just clicked on an ad, and you could tell they clicked on an ad because there's a GCLID in the URL, Google Click ID. So this IP address someone who just clicked on my ad. So if I saw that repeatedly for many weeks or months or whatever, I could manually block that IP address just to make sure they don't see my ad. Again, this would be extremely inefficient. I wouldn't recommend anybody doing this for a long time, but if you have one person who you think is doing this repeatedly, this might be your best bet. 
So there are more efficient ways to block low quality traffic on your website automatically. So I've been using a product called ClickSees for probably over a year now. I did a whole video on it, so I'll link to that here, but just wanted to explain it briefly. It's actually an app you can install and connect to your Google Ads account and it will block low quality traffic based on a few different signals, including repeated clicks. So it could possibly or likely block someone who's repeatedly clicking on your ad over a period of like days or weeks. So here's a real quick look into my dashboard for ClickSees. Um, this is for my website. So it's uh, my campaigns that are running. Blocked 415 IP addresses in the last week, it looks like. It says it's 18% cleaner traffic and saved me $3,000. I don't know if any of those numbers are true, but even if it's close to that, it's easy to get to um, the point of making the price worth it. I think it's like 30 to like $60 a month, depending on your traffic. So it blocks based on people being on VPNs or bouncing on your website or being outside the geographic region or being over certain thresholds for like how many times they click on an ad. So again, I did a whole video on that. I'll link to that here. If you're interested in getting this set up after watching the video, you can definitely contact me. I set this up for my clients whose accounts I'm managing. So you could look into my Google Ads management service and I can help get this running on your account.